Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Are you guys ready to dye some yarn today? Well, watch me um, experiment dyeing yarn. I always like to say, now remember, I don't dye yarn for a living, nor am I a professional yarn dyer. I am what I would call myself as a fun experimental yarn dyer and one who which has no idea what she's doing. So uh, my video is only for entertainment purposes only because I dye yarn only strictly for fun Gosh, it's fun. If you've never done, if you haven't done it, you have to do it. I've dyed yarns with Kool-Aids and natural dye with like fruits and vegetables, and I have videos for all those. Today I'm going to be dyeing with gel food coloring. Um, but remember, if you do want to attempt to dye yarn with, I highly suggest you try it because um, it is super fun. You probably don't want to take my word for it because I only uh, experiment and have a good time doing it. And someone very smart once told me, um, who dyes beautiful yarn, um, he said, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. And so I do have a very good time doing it. My yarn doesn't always turn out that well, but that's okay. Now, I don't sell what I dye. So, uh, but today I'm going to be dyeing some, this is from Knit Picks. It's their Swish DK, which is a lightweight three. There's, uh, it's a 100% superwash merino, um, 246 yards. Remember, nitpicks for that. I have two of those. My dog's barking. And then I have some 100% pure wool, which is not super washed, um, from Lion Brand. It's a medium weight number four, and it is 100%, um, I said pure wool, right? 180 yards. Oh, I love the smell of pure wool. So I'm going to, this is a uh, roving style. This one is not. So I'm going to be dyeing these with gel food coloring. So I hope you enjoy uh, watching the video and I'm excited to see the outcome of what I'm going to do. Remember, mine's always just is for fun. I really not particular. I don't really care how they turn out um, because I don't sell and I don't do yarn dyeing for a living it's only strictly for for fun but a lot of people like to watch 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 me do it so i make videos for those who like it if you don't like to watch me dye yarn just pass this video up and i got a tutorial coming out really soon all right let's go do this all right welcome to my kitchen it's like many kitchens you have seen before like i've always said if this is your first time here welcome it's a super small kitchen and a super small house but it does the yarn dyeing just fine. So I'm going to take you over here. I'm going to show you what we're going to be using. Um, I'm going to get another light turned on here in just a second. So today I am using, it's the Wilton brand um, icing colors. It's gel, concentrated gel. So, and then I'm also got this uh, Walmart brand uh, neon gel food coloring. So these are what I'm going to be using today. I have used these one one other time, but I did not record a video and the outcome actually was quite beautiful. So I'm going to do it again today. Experimental. Um, you're also going to need vinegar because it does take vin vinegar to adhere to the yarn. So I got to find that real quick. Okay, so I'm going to take my pot and I'm going to bring it over to my sink and I'm going to fill it up with water. Remember, entertainment purposes only. We kind of just experiment. Mad scientist style, right, Eric? Right. Mad scientist. There's no way. No. If you guys watch, uh, if you guys don't watch Urban Yarns, I'm going to put a link to his channel on the screen and in the comments. His name's Gary. Awesome yarn dyer. He sent me some of his, of his hand dyed yarn and a great, um, it was a lot better than It was way better than mine. <laughs> but it's beautiful and he knew my colors and anyways, you should definitely go subscribe to his channel. He's an awesome, awesome guy. I think you would really, really like him. Okay, that's good for me. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna move this to the stove. Okay, so um, I'm going to start the burner on mine and get it going. That's the scratch, it's in the bottom of my pan. My kids don't know how to use Actually, me neither. Rubber spatulas. <laughs> issues. Metal on my ceramic. So, they get scratched up. I didn't want you to think it was dirty because it's not. Okay, so I'm going to get the water boiling. And then I'm going to choose a color. What are you doing down there, Steven? 
Steve. She's my kitty kitty. Steve. Steve. Hey. Tell everybody hi. All right. What are you going to use, Mr. Bond? Um, I'm going to go with a neon this time. Um, neon gel. I think I'm going to do neon. Um, Green? I don't know. Neon orange is not. It's like my least favorite color, but I still don't disapprove of it. Maybe I'll use one of these. Let's see. We open these up. This is a new box. I don't know. I think it has some different colors than our last box did. One of these boxes came from Walmart, and the other one I bought off Amazon. They had some of the same and some of the different colors. Okay, let's see. Black, brown. Definitely going to be using that brown. My favorite. Golden yellow. I bet that's pretty. I use copper. I think that's about empty last time, and it was gorgeous. I'm going to mix or these, this orange and this yellow together. I'm using this one. One is it? Leaf green. Oh yeah, I seen that was a new color. Oh, here's Kelly green too. I'll do the green one, whatever green ones. We got two violets. It's so much fun to mix in and. You doing brown? I'm not gonna do brown this. I'm gonna do one of these with brown, but right now I'm gonna mix a little orange and a little yellow. You want to take the camera? Okay. So, orange, golden yellow. And I'm gonna throw. I don't have much copper left in here, but I'm gonna throw it in here. Ideally, I would be using gloves, but when I tried to get some at Walmart, they didn't have any. So, um, yeah, I'm gloveless. I know everybody says it doesn't take much gel food color, gel dye, which it probably don't. But we, we use the whole thing. I like to, you know, go overboard. It's either go big or go home. I'm back all day. Copper color. Ah, uh, copper. Remember that copper I did last time? Yeah. I'll have to show you guys at the end of the video. It, it's probably one of my favorite yarns that I've dyed. It was sparkly. Dang it! I need a knife. It's so funny. What did you say? Dang it. Stuff jelly, isn't it? I don't want to get it on my hands, but... Okay, and this is the golden yellow i'm not going to use the whole thing i don't use like that much it's probably way too much i know but from last time i learned the more you use the darker your yarn gets oh someone already used this one probably me last time spoonful of orange wonder what it's gonna look like guys actually i'm gonna put the rest of this copper in here because there's not very much and just for fun, you know, see what happens. Okay, when you're using the gel food coloring, I learned uh, last time that you have to make sure that it's all, it can't be, you know, it kind of clumps at the bottom. So you kind of got to whisk it for a while to make sure no clumps are in it. Otherwise, you'll get big black clumps on your yarn. That uh, happened last time. I'm like, I got to dump some vinegar in it. That's just, uh, I never measure. Good cooks never measure. You need to do bad ones. There we go. That'll probably work. We say that was a half a cup, cup, ten cups, whatever. I hope this turns out pretty. I'm gonna try to look and make sure there are no clumps in here. You can see it's starting to get hot. You see any clumps? Let me set it still. I don't want big clumps on my yarn. That was what happened last time. I used this gel. I, the first one I died, I didn't realize. Like I said, I'm no expert. Got clumps on my yarn. That's probably good. Now, I'm not going to wet my yarn first. I know I should, but I'm not going to. Mr. Bod swears against that, don't you? I guess what? Wetting your yarn first. Last time I did it, it didn't work real well. So now I'm using a, the Lion Brand color and I am going to put it in here. You know what, Mr. Bod? Didn't what? you use a, what did you use last time? Some type of a, what was it? For what? To hold it down, did you use a? I put a lid on it. Lid on it. That's a lid smaller than the pan. 
Now, let's let that soak. You want to do one, Mr. Bob? I'm going to let this soak up and... Go ahead. Do another one. I'll film you. I don't know what colors to use. My hands are dyed orange now. Just brown one. Brown? I can do an all brown one. Sure. All brown. Oh, the brown's already been used. I used it last time, I think. No, it hasn't. It's brand new. So I don't remember you using brown. I have to get some of that out. It's so messy though, using these dyes, isn't it? Yeah. But it's fine. It's not bad if you clean it right away. It just stains on my hands forever. Okay, this is the brown. That's so there. We probably shouldn't use that much, but what ifs? How I roll. That's how we roll. It's pretty diluted. With the water. But I guess it just does absorb the color, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. I can put it on the stove and put some stir it, mix some vinegar uh, with it. And. I should probably use that whole thing of brown. I better start my stove. For, um, you dig the brown. I do dig it, man. It's dope. I'm my favorite. But I like the uh, coppers and the yellows and too. And green. You're gonna use leaf green for yours? Yep. Well then. I'm just gonna go all out and use this whole tub. Now I've read out that I have read on blog sites that this is not necessary to use the whole thing, but sometimes I take she's an extremist. Things to the extreme. Actually, most things I do is taken to the extreme. I don't know why I do that. No fun, I guess. What do you think? I still don't want no clumps of brown in there. No clumps of brown. You can't tell now if there's clumps because it's brown. I put vinegar in here, right? Yes. Short term memory. Lost. It's gone. Okay, well. I'm going to use another skin of my Lion brand. I did not wet it down. I got warms in my hands, so I don't want to get it on the skin. Yarn. But it happens, don't it? Mm -hmm. See that master twirl I just did? Oh, yeah. That's the yarn master right there. Now I'm going to let it sit and simmer. Until it gives me a perfect color I call a winner. I do like that rhyme. You love yarn so much, you have yarn for dinner. I would if I could. Check this one out. Okay, here's my orange. I want to I wanna leave it in here till my water is clear. That means it has soaked up all the color. But I got to be careful with this one because it's not super wash. And it will felt. So I'm going to try to burn her off now. I'm just going to let it sit in the hot water. All right. Shut it off. We'll turn the camera back on. Okay, this one's probably good enough. Uh, Mr. Bob's going to rinse it. This one looks like beef ramen noodles. What do you say? I think it looks like cabbage patch hair. But... Cabbage patch hair? It kind of does. The outside of it's turning green. All right, I turned the burner off on this one. Now it's just soaking too. Okay, let's rinse this one out, I guess. I suppose. Eric can always rinse it without tangling it. When I rinse it, it's he just has to untangle it, and it's horrible. Isn't it? Yes, it's a mess. This one kind of looks just like it just turned orange. That's okay. I like orange. What are you kids doing? Oh, yeah, that's orange. 
It's pretty. It's kind of a burnt you. I don't know. I'll, I'll, this color is, some of this color is going to rinse out. There's a little bit of color left in the water, but that's okay. You want me to dump that for you? You got it. Decided to let Mr. Bod rinse because he's better, and I don't want my my hands are already orange, and I can't make it worse for my tutorial purposes. Not a lot of color coming out of it, still some, but looks like it's pretty evenly dyed this time. What? Oh, I see. That lion brand's a lot easier than that uh, nitpicks one to. Yeah, that stuff is terrible. As far as tangling up. Yeah, we may not use that nitpicks one. It tangles so bad. I need to get a bigger pot for that. Plus, this is a four weight yarn. I prefer it better. All right, Mr. Bob's gonna rinse that until it runs clean. I'm gonna check on my brown. The burner is off on this. It's just uh, steaming. Look how it's kind of green back there. It's interesting, isn't it? Beef ramens! That are green. <laughs> quit fight! Hey, 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 quit fighting! Hey, what are Sorry you doing, about guys? that, guys. Kid fight. Fighting Kid fight! Mario Brothers. Fighting over Mario. After all this time, when Mario came out when I was a kid, he is still just as cool. Well, he's cooler than when I was when I was a kid, but you know what I mean? Cooler. The Switch is way cooler than the regular Nintendo, but he's still cool. He never lost his cool. Yeah, Super Mario Odyssey has regular Nintendo, like Mario 1. Like what we used to play when we were kids? Yeah, it changes from 3D to 2D. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's see what you got. You got it rinsed clean, huh? It faded some, but not too bad. Well, let's check out that color. <gasps> it's gorgeous. It's copper, uh, burnt, burnt orange. Ah, ah. Looks like that's Raggedy a, Ann. That's a beauty. Definitely love that one. Gary, Urban Yarns, you like it too, don't you? I know you like that color. Let me know. I know you're watching. Remember, don't forget to subscribe to Gary. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's hang it to dry. Now we just hang it in my yarn room to dry. And I guess we'll go ahead and rinse this brown because I use that whole tub. And I don't know if it's going to take all the... It took like brown and left green. So I suppose that's probably good enough. And we'll start another color. I want to do neon. You, Mr. Bod, you going to do a green one? I think I'm going to do a neon pink because it rolls out like that. And then I want to do, do we have, um, um, how about, I like mixing. Did you say mixing? Mix, mixing. Oh, what mix. would make teal, like blue and gr green? Mm. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow make green. Now, so blue and I don't know. Maybe I'll teal do blue or teal green. Teal green. So green with a little blue, or I'm gonna do a burgundy one for sure. And I'm gonna do. I gotta set this down, open it up with this other pack. So the brown's pretty. Look what that brown left green in the water. That's kind of interesting. Gorgeous. It's another pretty one I like. Ooh, brown. That turned out nice, nice and solid. I think I'm getting the dyeing with the gel down. At least it don't have big black glops in it. Like the last one did. Another beauty. It's a winner. Well, in my eyes it is. I'm going to rinse these out and we'll start again with a different color. Okay, I'm going to do a neon pink. And uh, Mr. Rod's going to do one too. So this is neon pink. It's gel. It's gel food coloring. <laughs> Dyeing yarn's pretty messy, but it's worth it. Let's 
Sorry. I opened that. I had to open that with my teeth. Like I said, you probably don't need this much, but I'm always ex excessive. Excessive. I know you don't need this much, but... Here we go. Now I need to put mix it all in so it ain't clumpy. This is going to be neon pink, hopefully. And mix some vinegar with it. And then I will drop my yarn in there. See how she turns out. Hey, B.O.D., will you dump some vinegar in here for me? Yeah. Thank you. You're the man. Don't let anybody tell you you're not. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Hey, I'm good at the advice. Take it, take it as you will. Should I take it at face value? Yep, face value. That mixed in really well. That great value, Van Brand did. Better than the Wilton's brand. No clumps or nothing. A vinegar. Over here, babe. A vinegar. Distilled white. Jump into your desired amount. All right. Distilled. Does that mean it maybe in a uh, a brewery? A maybe. All right. You want to put my yarn skein in here for me? Remember, we don't write our skeins. Should, but don't. Mr. Bod's such a rule breaker. Aren't you? I'm a rebel. Rebel. Wonder how neon it's gonna turn. We shall see. Ooh. Okay. Rose is gonna like that, ain't she? Mm -hmm. Princess Rose does nothing wrong in my eyes. Well, I've never seen her do anything wrong. I haven't either. None of our kids, really. Evelyn and my oldest son, maybe never nothing. Now, others. One time, Isaac. Isaac has never done anything wrong. He's smart enough to me one time in his whole life. Which is really And impressive. he started bawling afterwards. He didn't bawl, but it upset him because he knew it upset me. And I wasn't really that upset. I was like, oh. No, we, we once love. Once out of like a billion times, you could have smarted off. We love all our children equally. And each one has their own personality, don't they? Oh, but. Sure. Evelyn is the only one that shows any interest in yarn or crochet. Therefore, that's why I buy yarns that reflect her uh, colors, like pink and purple and rainbow. I like rainbow, too. I buy that for me. All right, you going to do yours? What color are you going to do yours? Uh, I guess are you rainbow. mixing or are you going to do a solid or what are you going to do? Two I'll just mix these two greens together. Leaf green. And oh, leaf green and uh, Kelly green. Verde Kelly and Verde. I think the next Verde one. Verde Hola. Hoja? Hola. How you pronounce that? In I don't know. I I uh, flunked Spanish, you know, <laughs> two times in high school. Two times? Why did you say good more? Did you have to? Um. Yes, and I flunked it both times. Hey, do you know? So no habla español. No habla español for me. Um. I flunked a lot of stuff in high school because I don't know. Because you didn't do the work. I, you know, uh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, the only I. I just, when I got older, uh, junior, senior, I just didn't go to school a lot. And um, I really show no interest in anything other than math. That was the only thing I could ever get an A in, is algebra and stuff. So I couldn't really want to learn Spanish, so I flunked it. See, I like words and stuff. So I didn't I like science, like er, Mr. Bot's a science geek, hardcore. And what? I didn't say that. Science, when he likes that stuff. I don't like it. But I didn't flunk science. I probably got a D in it. Minus. I might have flunked science in school. I don't remember. <laughs> I, didn't learn, I didn't learn my science from school. Here. I learned, I learned all my science after school. Ask my mom how many experiments I did in her kitchen. <laughs> my dad in her, his garage. <laughs> oh, your dad's machine shot? Yeah. But he loved you for that. I was always doing dangerous experiments, though, with, like, starting fluid. And... With your dad's stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got hurt a few times doing that. So. But I learned something. Not to do it again? Not to do it again. 
You know when you uh, see on TV that like gasoline, like dump it all the way down yeah. your driveway and light it on fire, and then it makes like a cool little trail, and it'll burn for a little while uh -huh. when you go out. It burns for a long, long time. Ah, oh, so it burns so long your your dad comes home and sees his driveway on fire. So you say the movies are, are lies? I think they're lies. <laughs> You know, like on Back to the Future when the tires like squeal, the yeah. you know, time machine takes off and it leaves a trail of fire. Yeah. I was like, oh, I could probably make that in the driveway. So I dumped like five gallons of gas all the way down our driveway, which was like a hundred foot long. And I lit it on fire. And it was crazy. And you got in big trouble, didn't you? I it? did. I can I see. I was grounded for a year. I can see your dad getting mad about that. I was really grounded for a year. And we just got a Nintendo. Speaking of Nintendos. Yeah. And I didn't get to play it for a whole year. Sucks to be you. They stuck to their guns too. I didn't get in trouble when I was a kid. I was the. Uh, I think I was pretty much just always in trouble. I was the last of four, and by then they gave up. So they let me do what I wanted. Not me. But Never I had a curfew anyway. or anything. But I didn't do. I wasn't bad. I wasn't a bad child. Well, I wasn't bad either. But I don't know. I didn't start fires down my kid, my mom and dad's driveway. Yeah, I wasn't doing that to be bad. I was just doing that to see what would happen. So you're mixing two greens here, right? You're using both of each one? I'm just going to use them both. Okay, don't forget to put the vinegar in. Let's check it's on the extreme pink. Green. Extreme green. You taught me. You should put the neon in with it, too. Is there a neon green? I think so. I thought I had it. Up there in the tube. Oh, well, I would. Oh, extreme green. Leaf green, Kelly green, and neon green. That's what Mr. Bob's putting in. Green? Kelly green is just like regular green, like uh, like uh, four leaf clover. I mean, why they call it Kelly green. I don't Somebody know. And Kelly, it's just green green. I don't know. It's just an amulet. Okay. I need my whisk. Oh, it's all greeny. I'll use this spoon here. Yeah, look. You already took up all that neon color. It's just about ready. It's green with envy. All right. Green with envy. You will be in a minute. No, no. I won't be. Yes, you will. It's going to be the best one ever. How can it not be? Look. Much darker. Some huh? some eye You're gonna have such a dark green. It might even be black. No. We'll see. Having a good time. Oh, you, you know the lyrics, Eli? don't you, brother? He knows Freddie, don't you, Eli? Yeah. Who's the greatest singer in the world, Eli? Mercury. Who? <laughs> Mercury. <laughs> Freddie Mercury. He knows. He knows what's up, and he's seven. He knows him so well. He. You're seven. I said, you know, you know who the greatest singer in the world is, and you're only seven. He only has to say his last name. He knows himself. Exactly. He's a... You're the second greatest after Freddie. Ooh. This is that Christmas cream. Are you making ice cream? Christmas Come? green Elvis is looking for. Are you? Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice. Hey, while that's cooking up, do you want to rinse my pink for me? I didn't put no vinegar uh, in this. Oh, you got to put some vinegar. It won't take, it won't hold. It won't hold? Uh-uh. Are you sure? I'm sure. 100%. 100 Oh, how are you going to mix that around? Mom, can, I'm you gonna go like this. can you get the cone out for me? Can I get the cone out? Yeah, just a second. Okay. What'd you say, buddy? Wait, are you going to put ice cream in the cone? Or are you just going to eat the cones plain? What if? They're both, it's good both ways, isn't it? Ice cream hurts my tummy. I don't do well with milk stuff. I don't like lactose-free stuff. Tastes funny. Mm -hmm. Like it makes you smile when you eat Turn the camera off. I'm not even recording you. Hey, we got cookies. Don't stand on that air fryer, dude. We got cookies and cream um, in the big fridge. I'll get you an ice cream cone in just a second. Mr. Bud's going to rinse this pink out. It took out all that color. Oh, you got green all over your hands. You yeah, ruined nice. you ruined Evelyn's skin, and I'll never hear it. I'll never hear the end of it from her. I would never... Okay, he's gonna rinse this. He got the vinegar put in there. We're gonna let this go. And then I'm gonna, my next one, I'm gonna dye two colors at once. Just for fun. You know, it's all just for fun. Okay, I know Steve's on the oh. counter. Cats aren't supposed to be on counters. Who says? I broke my cone. You broke your cone. I can't help it. She's part of my family. Steve, you know you're not supposed to be up there, but my God. You gosh. sit on the counter. Steve can sit on the counter. Steve. No big deal. I know, but. Some people well, frown upon it, what's but... What's he going to do up there that's bad? Nothing. He's watching you, you rinse out yarn. Cat hair on my counter. Like he gets... Ooh. Steve, you're like my son. 
sorry for those that don't like it. He he can be up here. He's not supposed to be, but how could you how could you miss kick that cute face off the counter when he's just interested in what we're doing? He likes to spend time with us. He's just sitting there. He's watching. He's like, dye a yarn color the same as me. If Clark could get up there, he'd be up there. Yeah, Clark would. When Clark was little, he did try to <laughs> jump on the counter. <laughs> it's <was> funny. <laughs> what do we have sitting here? Like a chair or something? And yes. I seen that we looked in the kitchen and Clark was up on the counter. Yes. He's like a big deer up there. He did. It was before the sink was here. When we redid our kitchen, the sink used to be over here. Um, we had new sink and counters, and the, the counter was here, and he was standing right here. And I looked in from the living room, and he's just staring at me. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? I got a picture of it. It's funny. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Evel like that one. Hold it up. Oh, no. Nice. nice. Another good one. Ring her and let her dry. Okay, I'm gonna try to do two colors now. So I got burgundy. Looks like it's already been used. Burgundy. Burgundy. Boreana. Um, I need a clean fork or something. I didn't put as much water in here because I'm only gonna do half the skein. Here. Or Hank. You hold that. Let me rinse the whisk. Thanks, babe. I don't know what I would do without you. You'd rinse your own whisk. I'd rinse my do. own whisk. How fun would that be? Steve is... You rinse the whisk. What else can you do? <laughs> knock around, boys. Or knock around, guys. <laughs> knock around, boys. Knock around, guys. That is Movie funny. reference. All right, dump that burgundy in there. Steve is pretty interested in what's going on over here. I guess. He just likes to look like he's actually... You're going to need a new swim. That's got orange on it. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. I got lots of silverware. Good thing, huh? So you can do dishes. <laughs> it's Libby's turn. Ooh, what, what is that? Burgundy? Burgundy. Okay. Sweet. What it is, is all the colors that go together to make this color separate when the light shines through. And you can see and that's why the brown left the green in there. I'm sure True. that brown was composed of some green. Pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. How about some uh, vinegar up in this up in this pot? Pot of vinegar. Whoa now! Whoa now! All right. Listen. I'm gonna make sure. Like I said, this Wilton didn't doesn't mix in as well as the other. Great value. I'm only gonna do half of this skein of burgundy. I'm gonna do the other half in um, what color? Do you think? Blue. Oh, I'll say neon purple or put some neon orange with it. Will you hold the camera? Burgundy and orange? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. You think that would be... Do you know about burgundy and purple? Do you know about... Um, that the wife's the boss? Well, yeah. Happy wife, happy husband. And happy children. I'm all about the And you're Eli even said it, and happy children. He knows what's about. <laughs> happy children. <laughs> Okay, so there I'm only doing half of that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my. Uh, I'm gonna hold this up for a minute. Let's check on. Mr. You don't want that to catch on fire, do you? I caught my hair on fire the other day. <laughs> um. I was uh, making something and the burner was too high, and I caught my hair on fire. Like went, really on fire. Like I this, turned around. I went, oh my gosh! I got actually take she started pictures in crochet. <laughs> She started running her hands down her hair. I look, I turned around and her hair was on fire. And she started running her hands down her hair to get the fire out. And I just saw hair flying. It was gross. It stunk it really stunk. bad. And my concern was, I gotta take pictures with crochet on. I can't look back in her burnt hair. <laughs> I had to use hot oil treatments and stuff to try to get to, it back to normal. To get it back to normal. But hey, I survived. And that's what matters. This, that's and that's that what, matters. what matters. You like, gosh, you're a smart kid. You know, you get that from your mama. It's the wisdom of a Buddha. Mom, I don't get that from my mom. I get that from... From what? Let's watching it. TV. Oh. Watching TV? Yeah. Well... I guess. I guess so. Let's check on Mr. Bob Green. His super duper. Better day. I'm better day. I'm probably not saying that oh, right. good, Dad. Those strawberries? They're a little smushy. You gotta roll the R. Yeah, they're still good. I just bought them not too long ago. I don't know. 
Well, don't. Smushy? Don't eat them if they're smushy, bro. Yeah, good one. That's ripe. All right, turn the camera off for now. Apparently, Mr. Bob just said I tried to sabotage him be of his yarn because I'm jealous. What? You had so much green in there, but never take all that color. Yes, it would. Be patient. I am patient. No. Patience is a virtue, and I have it. You got the patience of a broke doctor. Yeah, Whatever. It was mad. You get your stuff. What? You be patient. Yeah, you be patient, and you get your stuff right. You know what's up? I taught my son patience. He knows. Mr. Bot has no patience. Like a broke doctor. Like a broke doctor, I get it. It's time for me to go. Bye, Eli. Love you. You gonna go play Mario? Yeah, broke doctor, we get it. See you, man. Peace out. He put, some moons. he put strawberries in his ice cream cup, cone and he didn't even put no ice cream in it. No, there's ice cream. Oh, he put ice cream in strawberries? Mm hmm. Well, whatever. Oh, it's delicious, man. Yeah, Bolton's gonna come in here running in here. Yep. About two seconds. All right, Let's you rinsing it? Yeah, but I think you uh, you, I didn't you do whisked it all, and now it's tangled. I didn't whisk anything. Quit blaming me for your mishaps. It still has to absorb some color. All right, whatever. Do what you got to do. Ooh. More Steve's it's always beautiful, precious to look at. Seems like yarn dyeing is fun. It's not that fun, is it, Steve? I think it's fun. She's so like, Ooh. I don't know. I'm trying I to get into Steve it. Steve would look like copper color. <gasps> Let's dye Dang. you copper, Steve. Let's get a mohawk. Let's dye him right here. No. Green? Neon green? Green, yeah. Steve would look good in a green mohawk. You can dye his front white here. I am back. She's like, no. There's Miss, Mr. Bod's uh, green. What'd you call it? Gonna call it? The Hulk? The Hulk or Ferrigno? Bruce Banner? <laughs> Blue Ferrigno? Uh, I think it should be uh, Eddie Norton. He played a pretty good Hulk, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was probably the best one, I think. The Hulk. Incredible it Hulk. Is. That's cool. It's a nice one, too. I mean, so far, they've all been really nice. Really well uh, covered. Covered nicely. Mm -hmm. This might be our best yarn dyeing yet. I know. We're getting better and better. Wow. We'll never be professionals, but maybe we'll be better each time than we were the time before. <laughs> if we're not, we need to quit doing it. If we're not, we need to quit doing it. All right. Now, Mr. Buzz going to take... He's gonna rinse that half of that burgundy, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the other color blue. Blue? And I'm gonna let him mix in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, green hands. You look like the Incredible Hulk now. I look incredible. That's. You're getting sure. green all over it. Oh my goodness. No, it's just the. Fuzz. Okay. If you say but, so. Oh. Don't get in any more. Yeah, You're ruining on purpose. You're jealous. Look at that. It turned green too. That's so cool. I guess there was no more color left to have in it after it's just green left. Looks nice. I like it lighting up right there. And yeah. It's going to well with us. Blue. Yeah. It will look pretty. Hopefully. You never know until you're done, but. What are you doing? Oh, washing the green off? Yeah. I don't want you to think I'm trying to sabotage your green. Oh, like I, I sabotage you, your green. It's because you like mine better. It did turn out nice. Oh, all of them did. They all did turn out so far. We got one left after this. Mr. Bob's gonna do it. <laughs> hey, there's a rose. Want an ice cream? We called it. Okay. Last time I said that mine was the best. I was only kidding anyway. I think they're all. They crazy. know you're I joking. I tease a lot. I'm a teaser. We'll get you some ice cream bed in a second. Okay, now I'm gonna use blue, royal blue. It's the color that I'm using. And the Wilton brand. Don't dump it, don't dump it. I'm not. Oh. I'm That's what the burgundy it. look like. Yeah. I think it looks nice with the white, but. It's a natural. We like to dye stuff, so we're going to dye the other half blue. Okay. It's fun. It is fun. We just like to, to make messes, I think. We're just like kids. Hey. We're just big millennial kids. Okay, that's enough vinegar probably. Do you like vinegar? Okay, I'm gonna get this so there's no clumps of blue. I added vinegar. And I'll put the other half of that burgundy in there. Wait, don't get No! Oh my gosh, you are trying to make me ruin mine. Your green one turned out awesome. I didn't ruin it. Yeah, what's in that ice cream cone? Smells funny. Smells funny. Mm-hmm. 
It's empty. There's not even anything in it. You're just eating cones, huh? Well, that's my boy. There you go. Ain't much better than an empty cone. I'm from Oklahoma. Okay. You're from Oklahoma? No. Where are you from? Illinois. This is my ice cream. The big town of 500 people? No. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Surrounded by the old corn fields and bean fields? Is this better than Brownstown? Brownstown. All right, let's let that serve. I'll have to keep my burgundy up here on my hand while this gets hot. And, uh, this might turn out cool, too. Yeah, it may. So far, they all have, so I'll... It might wick up into the burgundy. It will wick up into the burgundy. Yeah. All right, get your pot going, Mr. Boss. Turn your camera. I sold it. I sold it. Okay, here's mine still going. It's wicked up my burgundy and turned it purple. Mr. Bot is doing... Um, a, neon purple. A Wilton's regular purple and a neon purple from the great, from Walmart brand. Oh, that's got neon. So... I think it would just make purple and then have like a little shine to it. Like that. This, uh, that's our last one of today. You need to put a little tab on this so you don't have to mess around so much. Like this, yeah. I know. Seems strange they don't have one. Blue, don't it? Cool. I should do my school colors. Purple and gold. Purple and gold. Okay, Mr. Bob's doing his purple, even though it looks blue. It's still. We'll end up purple, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, it's turning purple. You want to rinse this one out for me? I, uh, I'm still going to have dyed hands for my tutorials. I tried not to, but I'll rinse the whole... At least they don't look like his. <laughs> now you look like I a Smurf. Like Pop a Smurf, because you got gray in your beard. You look just like him! <laughs> okay. It's better than looking like Gargamel. Steve. Steve looks like, what's that one cat's name? What's his name? Uh, I can't remember. Libby, what's the cat's name off the smirk? Gargamel and, um, what's his cat's name? Yeah, it's Azrael. Yes. Steve, that should have been your name. Oh. I thought he looked like... You need to get off the counter. You do look like Garfield, Steve. He just doesn't eat lasagna. You know how much crap I'm going to catch from him being on the counter, don't you? What? It's our camera. Oh, well. All right. Last one here for today. Mr. Bod's purple. My dish rag dyed pink. Oh, well, it matches my kitchen now, don't it? Mm -hmm. You're going to rinse that? Sure. Is it going to be Rose approved purple from Rose Likes Crochet? Guaranteed. Guaranteed, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll see if 100%. she watches. That's what I was going for. So don't mind my messy room. This is where I hang my yarn to dry. Wow, that green looks good. <laughs> so there's the brown. I hang it on my lights. And there's Mr. Bod's Bruise Banner or the Incredible Hulk. Here is the purple. Um, well, it was actually burgundy and blue, but it mixed in and kind of made it purplish. It's actually really pretty. There's the pink. Uh, that was neon pink we did. Ooh, this one's probably still my favorite. It's really coppery, more than what it's showing now because of the lights are uh, taking the color away from it. But yeah, this is where they hang to dry in my room here. And then Mr. Bob's will hang. And then after that, we will roll them up in skein form and show you what they look like. All dried up and rolled out. Exciting, isn't it? I think it is. All right, here's our finished products. Brown. This was blue and burgundy. 
and it turned into purple in the middle. That's probably my least favorite. Copper color is definitely my favorite. Brown would be a close second. The green turned out quite nicely. So did your purple and so did the pink. I don't, I think they all- This should have been more purple, but I guess it, it kind of just got speckly. I think it's pretty. It's I think speckly. they're all really pretty. This one's I'm not really a huge fan of. Do you like it, Rose? Because I said that you would like it. I'm sure Rose I would love it. I guaranteed it. I'm sure, I'm sure she would love it. If My she watches this video, if she watches, she'll love it. So that's our yarn dye. Which one's your guys' favorite? I like them. I like them. They all turned out pretty good. Like that one's my favorite too. Oh, grab that copper one. I'm going to show them from last time. I dot, yeah, I dyed a sparkle copper last These time. These were the ones that were super hard to... Oh, look at that. This was what's... Ain't that pretty? No, these are these were the ones that were super hard to get on. This is my favorite yarn that I've dyed so far. Um, this was made with uh, fingering weight from... Fingering weight sparkle. It comes with the sparkle in it um, from Knit Picks. It is gorgeous, and I just dyed it in straight copper, a whole, almost a whole tub of that copper, and it is beautiful. It's my favorite, only because I like the copper color, and I like the sparkle. These were the ones that were really hard to get untangled from. Yeah, these were silk. This is the one I call Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> you just mixed a bunch of stuff together. It turned out good, though. No, I don't know about that, but... Um, people ask if you can dye natural... Or what kind of foot? Steve's got to die on him. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys this. <laughs> Just a second. A little bit on his fur. What's this? One? Oh I yeah. That one, this is silk one. too. Mr. Bud did a really good job on that one too. These were dyed. This one was dyed with Kool Aid. Kool Aid, yeah. Yeah. Not not uh, uh, food coloring. Powder jello didn't really work for it. I like that one. No, Just not really. Clumpy. You like that one? Really Let's look at. That one's pretty. Evelyn grabs the pink. I knew you. I knew you. That would be your favorite. I said that's Evelyn going to be Evelyn Rose's favorite. Is it? Even the pinkish in this one. Oh, you like that one too? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like. You, you like the purple? I said I like all of them. Oh, you like all of them. Steve got dyed. Steve, what happened? <laughs> and it's pink or purple. Yeah, we see. What are you doing, weirdo? Does he got it on his paws or anything? Tracking it in the house? No. I think Steven. he was just sitting right next to that burgundy container. Steve, you're burgundy. Here we were laughing, pretending we were going to dye you, and you got in it yourself. That's what you get for being on the counters. Our, our dog that we had before, our boxer, anytime I would paint, he always stepped in it, and there was always <laughs> footprints of paint all around the house. So yes. He did that every, Look at this. It was every time. He's got burgundy in his white, too. Steve? <laughs> it must be cool too. That's just my hands. Look at my hands. Tell everybody bye, Steve. I look like I got a heart problem. See, so I wanted to be part of the dyeing process. So I did it myself. No vinegar needed for me, huh? Steve's funny. Look how he's sitting. Chubby. Ow. Chubby. Love you, Steven. I know, I know what's the video. <laughs> tell everybody bye. 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 Steve, Steve, tell him bye. Stevie. She's like, Stevie. whatever, I can't lick this die off of me.